Hi, I'm Dawn with Tracker Diagnostics, and today we're going to review the basic operations of your Horizon 24 Flex centrifuge. If you're looking for something specific, look at the bottom of your screen. This video is divided into chapters so you can easily find what you need. Horizon 24 Flex Basic Operations Guide. Part 1 Unboxing the Horizon 24 Flex. To open your centrifuge box, you'll want a pair of scissors to easily remove the packaging. With your box open, you can slide the centrifuge out. Your centrifuge will come with an accessories kit. We'll cover this in detail later. Once you're done unpacking, you should have all of these items. Part 2 Setting up the Horizon 24 Flex Let's start by making sure we have all our necessary accessories. These came out of your accessory kit, the small box packed on top of your centrifuge. You'll need your power cord, your tube holders, your quick start insert, and your centrifuge. If you're missing anything, please contact Drucker Diagnostics. Start by placing the centrifuge on a flat, level, sturdy surface. Leave at least six inches or 15 centimeters of space on all sides and at least 21 inches or 54 centimeters of height above the lid so you can easily open it. Locate the power cord that was included in the accessories box when you unpacked your Horizon 24 Flex. Plug it into the back of your centrifuge and then into the wall. Make sure your outlet is easily accessible so you can unplug your centrifuge for cleaning and maintenance. Locate the power switch on the back of your Horizon 24 Flex. Flip this switch to the on position. With the Horizon 24 Flex plugged in and switched on, its displays will illuminate. Now we're ready to unlock our centrifuge. Your Horizon 24 Flex has a safety lock. The centrifuge will lock whenever the rotor is spinning, 60 seconds after a cycle has finished, and it will be locked when your centrifuge arrives from our factory. To unlock our centrifuge, we'll need to look at our control panel. To unlock the centrifuge, press the Stop Unlock button. If you'd like a more in-depth overview of these controls, a link to a full overview video is on your screen. Now we can twist our lid latch and lift the lid open. You can see our rotor here inside. Your Horizon 24 Flex comes with its rotor installed and ready to run. All we need to do is place our tube holders. You can see the slots all around the rotor. Simply place one tube holder in each. When the tube holders are properly seated, you will be able to move them slightly. This is by design. That's what allows them to rise into their horizontal spin position. They do not click or snap into place. Your Horizon 24 Flex has only authentic Drucker Diagnostics parts, including the rotor and tube holders. You should only use authentic Drucker Diagnostics parts in your centrifuge, as anything else may damage your centrifuge or even be dangerous. Now that we have our Horizon 24 Flex set up, we can look at our controls. Part 3, Controls Overview. Your Horizon 24 Flex has all of its controls right here on the front panel. The RPM screen, which displays the currently selected speed in RPMs. RPMs can be adjusted using the buttons next to this screen. A single press up increases by 50 and a press down decreases by 50. As we adjust, the RPM shown on the screen will adjust as well. If you overshoot or undershoot your desired RPM, you can always use the buttons to adjust. The RCF XG button displays the G-force in the RPM window. If you press and hold the RCF XG button, you can adjust by G-force using the buttons next to the RPM display. The three indicator lights show the status of your Horizon 24 Flex. The left light is illuminated when it's running. The middle light is illuminated when the lid lock is engaged. The lid lock automatically engages when the centrifuge runs, so anytime the left light is illuminated, the middle one will be too. The right light is illuminated when the lid is unlocked. 
the lid will automatically unlock at the end of a cycle, so you can twist the latch open and remove your samples. It will stay unlocked for 60 seconds, one minute. After that, it will lock again. If the lid is locked, you can unlock it with the Stop Unlock button. If the centrifuge is running, pressing this button will stop it mid-spin. The Start button starts the centrifuge. When you press Start, the Horizon 24 Flex will run whatever settings are currently displayed on its screens. The Time display shows the selected time in minutes and seconds. Like RPM, time can be adjusted using the up and down buttons next to it. The time shown on the screen will dynamically adjust as you raise or lower it. Also like with the RPM, if you overshoot or undershoot your desired time, you can use the up and down buttons next to it to get back to your desired range. When you start your centrifuge, the time screen becomes a countdown timer, showing how much time remains. Your centrifuge will spin for a little while before the timer starts counting down. That's because the countdown doesn't start until your centrifuge is up to speed. That way, your tubes get spun at the appropriate speed for the appropriate time. The brake setting controls whether or not a brake will be applied as the centrifuge slows down at the end of each cycle. Brake can be set from zero, no braking at all, to nine, maximum braking. To adjust braking, press and hold the cycle button until you hear a double beep. Then press the menu button to enter the advanced menu. Brake should be displayed in the RPM screen. Use the up and down arrows next to the time screen to adjust the brake setting. Zero is no braking, while nine is maximum braking. Once your brake setting is as desired, press the cycle button to exit the menu. The centrifuge will run with the selected brake setting until you change it, or until you load a saved setting with a different brake setting. More on saved settings in a minute. The cycle button switches between saved settings, and the display next to it shows the number of the currently selected cycle. A dash means you have no saved cycle selected. Your Horizon 24 Flex can save up to 10 cycles. A saved cycle is a combination of RPM, time, and brake settings stored in the system memory for easy recall later. The system will automatically assign each one a number, visible in the window next to the cycle button. The centrifuge will automatically name the cycle as well, MEM4 for the first one, MEM5 for the second, and so on. We can create a new saved cycle by adjusting our centrifuge as desired and then pressing and holding the cycle button. And those are your controls. Now let's look at how to load your Horizon 24 Flex and spin your first samples. Part four, spinning samples. Before we can spin a cycle, we need to make sure that the centrifuge is correctly loaded. That means the samples it will spin are balanced. Like any centrifuge, the Horizon 24 Flex should always be run with a balanced load. This helps keep the lab safe and ensures the maximum lifespan for your centrifuge. First, make sure that all six tube holders are properly seated in the Horizon 24 Flex rotor. They do not snap into place, but should be seated one per slot in the rotor. Next, we need to balance our centrifuge. Balancing happens in two different dimensions. The tube holders must be balanced around the rotor and the tubes need to be balanced within each tube holder. Let's start by balancing around the rotor and then adjusting placement within each tube holder as needed. To be balanced around the rotor, each tube holder must hold a tube or tubes of the equivalent size and fill volume as the tube or tubes loaded in the tube holder across from it. So if you've got four 10 ml over here, you need four 10 ml tubes over here as well. If you've got an uneven number of tubes, don't worry. We'll explain what to do about that in the next step. With this loading guidance in mind, start distributing your tubes into the tube holders. You can use two, three, four, 
or six tube holders, depending on how many tubes you are spinning. Just remember to make sure the tube holders are carrying equivalent weights. Once you've got that equivalent loading, follow the diagram on your screen to balance the equally weighted tube holders around the rotor. Red indicates an equivalently filled tube holder. Now, what happens if you're running different tube sizes, say 4ml and 10ml tubes? You can absolutely run them in the same spin. Just make sure to follow the equivalent size and fill volume rule. If you've got two 4ml and two 10ml in one tube holder, you'll need two 4ml and two 10ml in the other matching tube holder. Alternatively, you could load these tubes into four tube holders instead of two. For that, you'd place two 4ml across from the other two 4ml and two 10ml across from the other two 10ml. Once you've got your tube holders placed, it's time to balance the tubes within those holders. For this part, you want to think of each tube holder and the one across from it as a pair. If you've got three tube holders loaded, we'll talk about that in a minute. So, this tube holder pairs up with this one across from it, this one with that, and so on. The tube loading within this pair must be balanced. If you have one, two, or three tubes loaded, Refer to the diagram on your screen for the appropriate loading. If you've got four tubes loaded, you're all set. If you've got three tube holders in place, you'll need to either have two tubes or four tubes in each. There's no way to get symmetry with one tube or three tubes. You can redistribute your tubes into a fourth bucket, or you can use a counterbalance tube, or two or three, to hit that two or, or four per bucket fill. If you don't have enough tubes to balance your centrifuge, you'll need to create a stand-in to fill the gap. We call this a counterbalance tube. This should be an identical tube filled with an equivalent volume of water as the blood tube that it will match. If the volumes are equivalent, the weights should be two, and you'll get the balance you want. Use your filled counterbalance like a regular tube to get your balance. With your tube holders in place and your samples loaded and balanced, you're ready to spin. Close the lid. Secure the lid latch by pressing it down gently and turning it a quarter turn clockwise. Next, adjust your settings. You can adjust RPM and time using the arrow buttons next to the display windows. For a more detailed guide, click the link on your screen. In our case, we're going to run 1200 RPM for three minutes but you can run whatever setting you like. Once you're done programming, double check your settings. Next, press the start button. The centrifuge will automatically lock and the rotor will begin to spin, accelerating until it reaches your selected RPM. It will then run for your chosen time. You can see time remaining on the time screen. Once the run is complete, the centrifuge will begin to slow down, applying the rotor brake at the level you selected. When the rotor is fully stopped, the centrifuge will beep and the lid lights will flash to let you know it's done. The centrifuge will automatically unlock. Turn the lid latch a quarter turn counterclockwise and then lift the lid to retrieve your spun samples. And that's all there is to it. You just ran your first cycle. Now let's look at how you should clean and maintain your Horizon 24 Flex. Part 5, Cleaning and Maintaining. Your Horizon 24 Flex requires no regular maintenance. Cleaning is easy too. Start by turning your Horizon 24 Flex off. Then unplug it from the wall. Your centrifuge should always be off and unplugged before you do any kind of cleaning. Make sure to wear appropriate PPE in accordance with your lab's policies. Use isopropyl alcohol or 10% 5500 ppm bleach solution to clean. Only the approved isopropyl alcohol or 10% bleach solution should be used. Any other substance is not approved and may cause damage to your centrifuge and void the warranty. Apply your isopropyl alcohol or 10% bleach solution with a cloth. Do not submerge the centrifuge in water. Dry your Horizon 24 Flex immediately after finishing cleaning and disinfecting, 
and be sure it's plugged in and turned on so it's ready for the next use. Your Horizon 24 Flex does not require any regular maintenance, but you may wish to confirm the spin speed. To do that, you'll need a photo tachometer, like the one shown here. Your rotor has a reflective strip on it, so the photo tachometer can easily detect the speed. Just start the cycle you wish to test, wait a minute or two for it to reach its peak speed, and point your photo tachometer down through the clear lid. You'll quickly get a reading. And that brings us to the end of our basic operations for the Horizon 24 Flex. We unboxed and set up our centrifuge. We reviewed its accessories and controls. We also learned how to spin our first cycle and how to clean and maintain it. If you have any other questions about your Horizon 24 Flex, you can always contact Drucker Diagnostics and we'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and have a great day.